Well, hey guys, long time no see. So this is just going to be a quick update because, you know, I'm notorious for not uploading for forever and a day. Um, as you can see, there's no makeup because why would there be? <laughs> um, I, um, I, I just left, um, pain management. I, um, currently in line at the pharmacy drive through um, and of course they only have one lane open because why would they have both lanes open <laughs> um, so what's been going on well mom was up uh, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and dementia which seems kind of redundant because Alzheimer's is a form of dementia so it's a double whammy um, in reality and so basically what happened when she fell two years ago this coming September and shattered her wrist and she her head bounced off the wet sand um, she suffered the final concussion that her brain could handle and her brain was just like <laughs> I'm done. I'm checking out. Um, it was just, you know, she's had so many bad concussions in her life, starting at the age of three, that her brain was just like, it can't handle anymore. And it just kind of was like, I'm done. You know, there's been so much research done on, on traumatic brain injuries and head traumas and, and, and head trauma, brain trauma, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and so, um, yeah, so it's bad. Um, she's on a lot of medication to stabilize her mood because uh, last November she had a psychotic episode and attacked me um, just before Thanksgiving. Um, and... Uh, she shoved me backwards, which y'all know that, you know, I've had lower lumbar fusion done and my neck is not stable. My head is not stable. I, I have, I have a lot of, a lot of things wrong with my spine and, and my neck. And, um, if I had fallen just an inch further from where I landed, my head would have hit a chair and I wouldn't be talking to you right now. So, um, and, uh, yeah, I, I did call the police because I am disabled and I wanted it on record. And I know a lot of you are like, you may be thinking, why would you call the police on your mother? It wasn't an easy decision, I have to say. But, there was a lot of things that led up to that. And that was just the final straw. It was the physical... It was so... It was just so bad. Um, and I just needed... I, I needed to have some record of what happened. Um because there's a couple of family members that think that I'm abusing her, which is not the case. Um, and um, it's, it's been really, really bad. It's, it's heartbreaking to see your mother reverting back to being a toddler almost. Um, in fact, last night, uh, 2.30 in the morning, I woke up to the sound of pills being shaken out of bottles. And she was in the kitchen taking, she had taken a pill out of every bottle in the medicine cabinet in the kitchen from vitamins to all of her prescriptions. And if I hadn't woken up, she would have overdosed on all of her prescriptions and been in the hospital and I don't know what would have happened. Um, 
so, um, but yeah, she's on some, she's on a lot of medications to stabilize her mood. Um, she's on, um, uh, a medication for her memory, um, to help slow down the loss of her memory. Um, and it's specifically for Alzheimer's. So what do we do now? Well, I'm moving her back to her family. We're, we are moving and uh, we're moving back to family up in Washington State. Um, I'm going to sell her house and property and hopefully get um, enough out of her property so I can buy her a decent um, house close by family so that we can get moral support and um, she can get the medical help and uh, stuff that she needs to keep her out of a facility for as long as ha as possible and my son can also get the medical help that he needs um, and um, and then I can also have the surgery on my shoulder I can have the surgery on my neck and have the physical support that we need so I can have that done without worrying about her being alone because as it stands now I can't have any surgery living here in Texas because I can't leave her alone and we can't afford out-of-pocket payment to individuals to come and sit with her while I have any surgeries done um, one time at a doctor's that I went to a doctor's appointment we came back and she had managed to turn the heat on and couldn't figure out how to turn the heat off and it was a hundred degrees outside and by the time we got home it was already 95 degrees in the house so um, it, it's just you know it's time it, it's time to take her back to family so we have some moral support because we don't have that here and um, I'm gonna get her started on um, oral CBD tinctures with THC in them since it's legal in Washington State she's got some really bad tremors and dyskinesia which is shaking of the head and, and everything she has to use both hands to drink and I've found research that they've done using medical marijuana with Alzheimer's patients that it opens the blood vessels and reduces the plaque buildup in the brain and uh, I'm going to get her started on an oral solution of medical marijuana on a low dose to see if we can't reverse some of the damage or slow it down better than the medications that she's already on is. So that's what's happening. Um, and uh, that's why it's been so long since I've uploaded because the stress in the house is overwhelming. So keep us in prayer. And, you know, if you want to follow us along this journey of packing, selling, moving, yes, we are driving across country to the, for the move. Um, and I will be documenting that. Um, hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that thumbs up button let me know you're watching and uh, I'll catch y'all soon because you know this is all gonna happen pretty fast once we get moving on it and uh, because it's got to happen and it's got to happen fast so that's the way it is I will talk to y'all soon and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.